Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. So for today's video, I have my friend, Dr. Monica Q with us today. Hey guys. So she is a facial cosmetic surgeon. She is based out of LA and she has just done the lip lift procedure on me which is amazing Looks and so good. so good. I love it so much. And I talked about it in one of my previous videos. I talked about it on my Instagram and I had so many comments, so many questions about it. I was mm -hmm. like, we're just gonna you know, do a video together and kind of talk a little bit about this procedure because I feel like not a lot of people really even heard of this before. Yeah, it's not something that is um, really common yet, but I do think that it's gonna be super big in the next year or two. I feel like it's on the rise for sure. For sure. Yeah, because I'm only kind of starting to hear about it more now. Yes. And I feel like, I mean, it's just like the craziest like little tweak mm -hmm. of what that did made such a difference. It's such a tiny little thing. How long did it take? Like 20, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Yeah. So a lip lift is a really small surgical procedure where we actually remove a cuff of tissue from your upper lip. So a typical female upper lip, so it's, we measure from right underneath the nose to the very top of your vermilion border, which is just that line, the white roll just above your upper lip. And that's typically about 11 to 13 millimeters in a female. And as we age, it sort of lengthens and every year you sort of get a little bit longer. It drops, mm -hmm. yeah. So doing a lip lift, we remove a little portion of that and it kind of lifts the lip and also increases the amount of pink that you and see. makes it look fuller. Which is crazy because I feel like it's like a little mini facelift. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It really opens up. Yes. And it's such an easy thing. Yeah. So when she measured me, so you said that the, the what you want would be what? 11 millimeters? 11 to 13. To 13. Is, and I was like average. an 18 millimeter. Exactly. So you took off, I think you took off like six. Six six millimeters and so right now it's 12 millimeters right so it's, it's like within. right in the the normal mm -hmm. kind of range mm -hmm. yeah we do little um sutures so it's hidden right underneath the crease and you have stitches for a week the stitches came out and yeah. then tell me about it like yeah. how was the recovery honestly the recovery like people have asked me about the pain i i took pain medicine for one day only and then mm -hmm. the rest of the the rest of it i it wasn't painful it wasn't anything I just kept my little like neosporin on yeah. it and I was good like it was really really easy not bad at all and then like you said those the stitches come out in a week yep yeah and I mean you don't even it's the effort it's been three weeks now and it's yeah. faded a lot and it just kind of smooths out it, it's a little swollen at the beginning and then it gets better with time yeah and about a month or two out it'll be it's like you really never like, even had anything done. Yeah. So the recovery, I would say, is not bad at all. So talk about price, because obviously price is mm -hmm. going to change a little bit, but we did have questions about pricing and stuff. So, so pricing is going to vary depending on where you live in the country, but I would typically say that an average would be between 2000 to 5000 for a lip lift, and it also depends if you want to have it under general anesthetic where you're completely Which out, I did, yeah. Or you, you can do it under local anesthetic where it's... It's kind of like getting a dental procedure where you're awake but you're completely numb and I have a lot of my patients have that done and they yeah. can tolerate it really well too right so I chose to be under because <laughs> I was like yeah, I don't want to know what's going on <laughs> it's it just depends on the patient and your comfort yeah. level but a good surgeon will be totally flexible yeah and the most important thing is that you um, just take care of the incision afterwards and that's it. The recovery is so easy. Yeah, the recovery is not bad at all. So basically, talk about um, who is a good candidate for this because I know why I was a good mm -hmm. candidate. So talk about like what's the difference because I know a lot of people are going to think we'll just get lip filler or this or that. Mm -hmm. So like, there's a lot of there's a lot of differences. So I see a lot of patients who come in and say, you know, my the, my upper lip is not very full, and I want to add fullness to it, and a lot of people just immediately go to filler and that's not always the right choice it really depends on your anatomy and so I get a lot of patients who need a little bit of filler here but also some people have a longer upper lip and you can add a ton of filler it's gonna actually it actually elongate. makes it look longer elongates the lip yeah. so the, a good candidate would be someone who has a longer upper lip so longer it. upper lip as in like a longer distance between like their nose exactly. and their lip. Yeah. So from here to here, which is the philtrum. Yeah. So that's the upper lip length. 
Um, I also get a lot of males that yeah. um, they don't show a lot of teeth when they smile. So they say, oh, I look angry even though I'm happy. And so I do the lip lift on these guys and it just opens up the face. Like mm -hmm. I said, it just makes them look a lot more youthful. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing for me is I did, I had a longer length mm -hmm. here, but mm -hmm. then I also noticed with myself is that like my lip was kind of like downturned exactly you know so a lot of people who have like kind of like downturned lips where it's like you're not a, there's not a lot of pink showing to mm -hmm. begin with you could put filler on that all day yep. and it's not going to make your lip look any poutier or no. bigger it actually makes your lip just look ducky exactly so that's where you get a lot of that like ducky look yeah and that's from adding more and more filler mm -hmm. even though even to, to a lip that can't take it exactly so you don't need it you just need a little lip lift yeah so that's also a good candidate someone with the longer upper lip where they just need more fullness to kind of push the lip out and so that's what the lip lift does as well not only does it shorten this distance here but it can also evert or push out the pink part of your lip which is totally what it did to me i mean it completely took my upper lip and i had no hardly mm -hmm. any pink showing before and it really kind of brought out my lip so right now you have no filler in your lips no fillers yeah it looks so full yeah so, I love it. I know. I love it. It looks so, good. so, so, so good. good. Honestly, like, it's a really quick procedure. It took us, what, I mean, honestly, 20 minutes, 20 minutes you did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was put out, done, easy, woke up. Had little stitches, like I said, and then yeah. the aftercare is really easy. You just keep Neosporin on it. Stitches come out in a week, and then... And then you just kind of do, like, your scar gels and whatever, mm -hmm. but it kind of, it's not that bad. Like it's it fades really quick on its own. So keep it out of the sun. Yeah. Then, that's a big thing for sure. Yeah. Cause scars can darken a little bit mm -hmm. when, if you're when in the sun. Healing. Yep. Yeah. But I know a lot of people were questioning about like the, the scarring and stuff, but it's really not bad. If you find a really good surgeon that's really skilled, it'll just be well hidden underneath the nose. Yeah, for sure. You want to make sure you go find somebody yes. good. For Someone sure. who specializes facial in the face yes. right what she does like i said she's all facial cosmetic surgery mm -hmm, and stuff yeah oh and another question i know people are saying like what about like doesn't that make you get like a gummy smile or like doesn't it pull it up too much so that's something that we have to measure and it depends on the patient it's very patient specific but we talked about it before mm -hmm. we talked about how much you of, do take. you want to show how much tooth show is desirable for you and it's different yeah. for everybody so that's also something that you want to talk to the surgeon you want to make sure that they kind of like measure you mm -hmm. and really talk about that and we had talked about doing yeah. more conservative versus mm -hmm. more aggressive and we kind of went in between that yeah so she's right at 12 millimeters so like I think it right in the appropriate desirable range mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah exactly. yeah so yeah guys I mean that's basically it so I am going to link Monica's Instagram. She's um, on Instagram. You can follow her down below. She does. I mean, you can see a lot of her procedures. She does before and afters. Mm -hmm. You can ask her any questions there. Ask yep. us any DM questions. Me. Yeah. In the comments down below. But yeah, she is in LA. And like I said, facial wise, if you need anything, she does fillers, all of that stuff yes. too. Rhinoplasty, eyelid surgery, facelifts, and then all the non-surgical stuff. Mm -hmm. Botox, fillers, all of that stuff. stuff. Yes, all of that stuff. She is your girl in LA. You have to go talk to her for sure. I will list her information down below. But yeah, if you have any questions about like the lip lift, anything, let us know. But I could not be happier. Every day I wake up and I'm like, of my lips now. I, I was so, so self-conscious about it before. Like it was like the one thing I just like did not like. And now I just have so much more like confidence. Like I love putting on my lip gloss. I'm like, yeah, I love it so much. And so it's so easy. Yeah, so easy, you guys. <laughs> so again, thank you guys so much for watching. Dr. Monica Q, thank you so thank much for you. being with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Yes, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.